Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to help Joshua P figure out how to make uh, an opening cutscene that lets you select your class. So he hit me up on Twitter and if you have any special requests you can always comment on my videos but you could also hit me up on Twitter. Um, I'm at Driftwood Gaming and then you could just you know follow me and then make your requests here and uh, so I do answer these special requests on Twitter. Um, for Joshua P, he says, I was wondering on how to make an opening cutscene like at the start of a game and how to choose a class. So Joshua P, let me show it to you really quickly. And then I'll show you how to make it. So I think this is somewhat of something what you're looking for. Like at the beginning of the game, the player has to select the class they want. So let's select Blue Mage. And then we're put in the game and our class has changed to Blue Mage. Um, so it's really easy to do, actually. Um, so what you want to do is create a new map and give it the exterior. And then you're not going to, it doesn't matter the width or the height. Um, you can call it whatever you want. If you put a class selection in the display name, it'll show class selection in the top left corner. Um, we're going to give it a parallax, so for this we're doing scar uh, Starlit Sky, but you can use whatever parallax you want, or you don't even have to use a parallax, you can just do a fade out screen at the beginning if you want to. You may have noticed that it looked like we were like soaring through the stars. All you have to do is select these two boxes here that says loop horizontally and loop vertically, and I've selected negative one for, hor <coughs> for horizontal and, and two for vertical, but you can change these numbers around. Matter of fact, let's change these numbers around like really crazy numbers to see go really really fast um, and uh, once you come to this map we're gonna right click and set our st uh, party starting position we're gonna put it anywhere on the map we're gonna open up our database we're gonna go over to systems and then you're gonna figure out the actor you want to start with and you can have multiple actors too and just make it um, uh, let the player select multiple options for the first, second character, third character, and whatnot. But what you want to do is select this box right here that says Start Transparent. That's going to make it so that it doesn't look like your actor is just like floating in space. You don't even see your actor at first until you trans transfer the, the character. So we can see we have Drifty. We're starting transparent. So what you want to do is create a new event. And inside this event, uh, set the trigger to Auto Run. And at the beginning, you're going to show text, say select your class or any variance of that. Underneath that, you're going to show choices, and then you can put whatever you want in here. Like, I'll, I'll do the next one, Frost Mage, or I think I call it Frost Mancer or something like that. Um, default choice doesn't matter, but what you want to do is for the cancel, you want to select Disallow. That's going to make the player select a class, and they can't hit Escape and then bypass it, and your character has the default class. I mean, you could do that if, if you want to, but I would suggest making the player select one in case they hit escape on accident or something, or right click, you know. Just cancel this allow on that. In each one of these options, what you're going to do, right click insert new, go over to tab one at the bottom under actor. You're going to change class, select the actor that you're going to be starting with. And then se select the class that's uh, for that one. In this case, I put Frostmancer, so we'll say change Drifty's class to Frostmancer. And then after that, what you're going to do is a transfer event. So transfer event is right here on tab 2 under movement. Transfer the player to some location where they're going to start out. You know, something like that. Direction, whatever you want. And then after that, right after the transfer event, you're going to do a change transparency off because if you remember in the database we start with the transparency on so transparency is right here under character on tab 2 change transparency just set that to off so that the after you do the transfer event what you could also do at the beginning is fade out the screen if you want it to just be a black screen and then after this part you would uh, at the very end you would just fade in the screen but I kind of like the way it looks in the like the starry uh, parallax. But if you don't want parallax, you could do fade out. Same, same thing will happen really. Um, so let's take a look at that again. Now that you've seen the the inside of the the event, you can kind of you notice this time it's moving a lot faster because we changed those numbers. So you can edit those numbers to do uh, whatever you want. Let's go with the uh, spirit dancer this time. Check our class. We can see that we're set to spirit dancer. 
And that's basically it, Joshua. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please like, favorite, share, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any more special requests or anything you would like to see, comments, leave them below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being awesome. We will see you in the next tutorial.